Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a page in this book here. It's called Four Seasons Coloring Book. You can buy it on Etsy. As far as I know, I don't know if it's on Amazon. I'll try to find you a link and put it down below. It's a really cute little book about this little girl and her kitty cat. And I picked this page here one because the background on this it's the only one I believe it's in the whole book it has its own background painted in for you and half of the work done on the flowers <laughs> so I thought I'd try this one today so uh, on the other side you can see that the uh, it's not quite as dark as this one so you can go over the background I'm gonna leave it nice and pastel colored looking um, training She's got a leaf here that's keeping her dry. Her kitty cat's down here in the flowers. So there's a bunch of flowers, but they're gonna be pretty simple since they're just done in purple. And a little yellow center. Kitty cat is um, a black cat. She does have a pattern dress on the other side and we'll see if we get that far. And uh, you know, the leaf is just a couple of colors. So I'm gonna get you down and we're gonna look at it. Okay, we're going to use polychromos in this book. And I'm going to start with the uh, leaf up here. I uh, brought out three pencils. So we have what is this one, May green, a darker green, which is chrome oxide green. And then I brought in a yellow for just like the tips of this. And that's dark cadmium yellow. So we'll start off with a lighter color. And we'll just kind of put it in the highlighted areas here. They would be the ones that were closer to any light that is up in the sky. Then we're going to go in with the May Green. Just bring it all the way out and maybe over some of that yellow. Just darken some of it. Okay. Then we'll bring in the darker green for the bottom half of the leaf. I hope you're all doing well. Sorry that I'm still wearing the little bandage. I know it bugs some people. But, um, <laughs> I have still got problems with it. Um, it was a big injury on the side of the nail that goes halfway across 
and now um, because of what uh, happens under a nail when you get in injury on it it uh, has removed part of that nail and I'm sure you'd rather see the band-aid than what's under there I'm gonna put some of this color up here too So I have another month or so before the uh, fingernail has grown back. So for all of you who have been asking, it'll be a little while yet. <laughs> We're going to bring that May green again and just lightly put that over all this. bring in a different green here. I've got a little bit of hooker's green. That might be a little too blue. Nope, not gonna work. <coughs> I don't pick out my pencils too much ahead of time. Green opaque. That'll work. Turn the book a little bit here so I get a better angle of it. One of the reasons I like polychromos. <laughs> I like the layer. I can 
bring in the dark again. The darker one, which is the chrome oxide green. I think I need to sharpen it though. So we're going to darken this area here. Bring that out. Do the ruffle around here. Then bring that out that way. Because this is the underside of the leaf. And that is the top part of the leaf. I'm going to I'm going to make that just a little bit rounder on that part. Bring down some of those lines from the edge. And we have a leaf. I think I'll bring in a little bit of ivory into that. Or what is this? Sap green. This is a um sorry it had some stickles on it. <laughs> stickles on your pencil. This is a prisma I put in this uh, set. It's the sap green light. I think that'll work in there too. Just want to add a little bit. that light green. Then we'll bring in the ivory. And just add a little bit of lightness in here. Tone down a little bit of that yellow. Just a little bit, not much. Next thing we're going to do is scoot down to one of these flowers. And I've got uh, two purples. I don't do purple much, but we have purple here. 
So I took out the manganese violet and the just plain old violet. So one's 138, 160. One's brighter, one's a little darker. Not much. Uh, for the yellow, I'm putting in the uh, dark cadmium on one side. So we're going to pick a couple of these. So you can put that like, boom. on all the flowers. I'll probably miss one. It's uh, something I do. So <laughs> Don't worry about it. It'll get picked up sooner or later. There are a lot of them here. So far, I'm not having any problem with uh, coloring over the purple part, which is nice. If you'll notice, the uh, flowers here do have a little bit of yellow already put there for you. Just kind of giving you a guide. This whole book has got that in it. It's kind of nice. Little kitty head. <laughs> it's not perfect, but none of the flowers are going to have the same solid color in them, so it's going to go over lightly on some of it. Okay, I'm going to bring in a, um, it's not really an orange, probably says orange. It's an orange glaze and darken one side. Usually the underside. No, I miss one. Again, you don't have to be perfect with this because flowers are not perfect. As long as you get it to look like it has some dimension to it. Center of these flowers are kind of fluffy. Okay, now we have the lightest area. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the ivory for that. And we're just going to color it all in. Do little circles.
think I got everybody. If you think that's too bright and you don't want it so vibrant with the purple, take a little bit of a brown color and stick it right in there. So I think I will take a little brown ochre. We're just going to go around the edge here. Right next to those petals. And you'll see how that darkens it in a little bit more from the other side. Now the purple part. Yeah, these are pretty close. We'll just pick a flower here. I'm going to pull out some color in here. We're going to use the purple page. <laughs> Let a piece here as your um, lightest color. These really need to be sharpened to a point. There we go. That was um, the mm, manganese violet and this is just the regular violet and we're just going to go around and take one side and trace over that petal. Try not to go in your yellow like I just did, but um, it's not a big deal. You can erase it. You can blend it in. You can do whatever you like with it. We're going to darken around the edge here. And just a little, little soft bringing that out. Very lightly. Making sure we darken it where it was dark before on that and we can bring in a little bit of sepia on that one if I can find that pencil it's out here somewhere we're going to sharpen it just right along the bottom edge down here okay so that gives you your lift of your center. I think we have a light ochre we can put in that just on that side. There. So you have your purple petals. Boy, that is annoying to say. I'm going to bring in <coughs> Because I don't have a whole lot of really light purples that don't turn to a pink tone. But I do have a purple in the uh, Tombos that's fairly light. And we're just going to bring that in. And get those petals. And then when I say it's light, you can see how light it is when we just do a flower here. So maybe I'll start with that color. OK. 
kind of like that better. Maybe I'll erase some of that out of there. It's one of those that's driving me a little, just a little too pink in it. Let's see, it's probably the first one I put in. I think that's green that goes up there, but just going to lighten it a little bit, so there we go. Just go around and put this down on all of these. We got little buds going up here. This pen is uh, And what I'm going to do with those, then we'll go in with just the violet. Go back in with the uh, dark sepia just on this side. Nice little thin line. Yep, I like that better. So on this one, because it is um, darker than that, it's not going to make much difference. You've got a billion of these little flowers, but if you want to lighten that up a little bit. Oh, come on. Sharpen up a little bit there, pencil. Okay, we're just going to take a little bit of the uh, soft white Holbein and just lighten up those petals on that one. You can bring it in and put it on the edge of these. And we'll lighten up the center of the flower a bit. Make them all a little different.
I'll do a couple more of these and then we'll move on to something else. Like I said, there's a ton of these flowers. <laughs> Wait. green part done. Oh, we're going to pull in the um, the soft sap green light prismacolor. A lot of these too. <laughs> Keep them simple. It's nothing worse than starting off a uh, hundred leaves, doing every one of them with little veins and multicolors, and you've got a hundred of them to do. Can discourage you really quickly. So if you keep these as simple as possible. They'll still look good. They'll still look like leaves. <laughs> and you don't put yourself through a big headache. Just the prism color and then going in with the chrome green opaque just to add a line and a little darkness on the stem. Keep your points sharp if you want to get these little lines in here. You could darken a couple of those lines just a little bit on one side. It'll kind of give you a dimension in there, which is kind of nice. 
So I'll finish the rest of the flowers off camera. The rest of the leaves. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't need you to sit there and watch every, a little bit of that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do those off camera. Hold on. Okay, guys, I got all the flowers done, and that's what we got done so far. And I'm going to have to call it for today. And tomorrow we'll do her dress, her skin, her hair, and a kitty cat. And maybe we'll add a little extra whatever in the sky if we want to. I might bring up some of that purple that we use down here up into the areas where there should be a little bit of purple just because it needs to have that color that I put down brought up a little bit I think maybe some of the green too who knows but we'll do that in part two I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you in part two if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can take care everyone and have a wonderful day bye now